Hello? Well, hello. I am back today with another vlog. I sat down and I got ready. And I realized I didn't really say much. I just started getting ready and I didn't introduce this vlog at all. My background looks a little bit different right now because I moved my desk away from my wall and I spun my computer around. Reason being, I just really don't like working with my back to the door. I like to face the door and see the door and feel close up against the wall. Every office I've ever worked in, my desk has always been in like a little nook and I've always been able to see the door. I don't, I don't know what it is. I'm more productive that way. So while I'm editing and doing my work, I decided to spin my desk around in case you're wondering, but I'm going to spin it back around. I'm done all my work because this takes up a lot of space and I feel really cramped right now. My house is a mess. I was a mess when I first started filming this. I feel much better now. I feel like all my vlogs start off that way. I'm a mess. My house is a mess. By the end of the vlog, I'm content because I've cleaned my environment. Not much is new today. Just another ride on the Hot Mess Express. I have been busy with work. Chris fractured his hand, as you may have seen in my last vlog. And he I had to have surgery on it and I've been his nurse for the last little while. His arm looked like a turkey leg. It was so big. Today, luckily he's getting his cast replaced to something a little bit more manageable for him. Luckily it's his left hand. It's not his right hand, but he still needs a lot of help. I'm gonna go Christmas decor shopping today and then I'm going to decorate for Christmas. I'm just gonna do it all in this vlog. So we have a jam packed festive vlog. I need to go get dressed. I need to do my hair. I'll see you in a few seconds as I'm getting ready and then You'll see me later on with all my Christmas stuff. I'm rambling. I have not done my nails in a while because I'm trying to grow them out a little bit so that I can do another gel polish tutorial on my natural nails. I feel like that's how I started doing nails on my channel and then I got really excited with dip powder and poly gel and I haven't gone back to just gel and a few of you have requested that I do so. And I just really wanted to give my natural nails a break. I've been beating them up lately and um, it's a lot easier to do things around the house with my natural nails. So you will see nail tutorials soon, but they needed a break, man, you know? I know that I haven't done a lot of makeup tutorials on my channel in a long time. The reason being is I'm saving up for a new camera. I feel like the camera that I have now doesn't really pick up details very well. The color is always off. My original camera that I started my channel with is shite. I really only use it for nail tutorials sometimes. The lens is all fucked up on it, so I have to use it a certain way to make it work, and there's no way that I could make it work for beauty videos, so I have to basically buy a new camera. Another reason is because I don't really buy a lot of new releases. I pretty much just work with what I have, and if I do buy makeup, it's makeup that I'm interested in, which isn't a lot for somebody who does makeup, so I just feel like Maybe it's not as exciting for you guys to watch. Maybe I'm wrong, let me know. I was never really a review channel to begin with. Like when I first started YouTube, I was just sharing technique. I just, I feel kind of overwhelmed with beauty and I have felt that way for about three years. I think people are now catching on to the fact that makeup is being released like crazy. I have felt that overwhelming feeling for about three years now. I was never one to really buy a lot of stuff to begin with and now I'm just like I don't know if that makes sense but one of the reasons is I need a new camera so you can actually see what the hell I'm doing and another reason is I'm just doing my own thing over here you know I hope that makes sense I still really love makeup and I still use it every day and I still purchase it but I buy what I want to buy I'm not sent a lot of stuff which is 100% fine I've never been sent a lot of stuff and I like it that way I don't know maybe it's a boring mentality to have but when I really love something and it works on myself and clients it takes a lot for me to buy other products like for example I really love my physician's formula two-in-one eye booster and that is predominantly the liquid eyeliner that I have used in the last like five, six years and I have not stepped outside of using that specific eyeliner because I don't feel a need to. Sometimes I'm feeling spontaneous, I'll be at the drugstore and I'll just go balls to the wall, but then I never share it because I like to try products for a really long time. That's another issue I have is, for example, I wanted to do a CoverGirl haul a year ago. When CoverGirl became cruelty free, there were a shit ton of videos about CoverGirl and so I got excited, I bought a bunch of products and then I ended up just using them for a really long time and then it wasn't exciting to talk about them anymore. I feel 
feel like I always miss the bus. The excitement bus has always left the station by the time I run up to it, if that makes sense. I don't know, dude. I just kind of like to do my own thing in short. Who knows if I'll even keep this part in the video because I don't know if I'm making any sense. This is my look for the day. I gotta go fix up my hair. I gotta get dressed. I'm gonna eat something. My stomach is eating itself. Let's get the show on the road. Hello, it is a new day and I'm gonna show you all of the things that I picked up from Joanne, Target, HomeSense, Walmart, Costco, and I feel like there's one more. Where did I go? I think that's it. Anyway, I just wanna do like a quick little haul before I start decorating. I'm gonna try to just fire through this cause there's, there's a bit of stuff, but there isn't as much as I thought there would be. Reason being is I remember last year I went kind of wild in the Christmas decor department and I don't remember exactly what I have. So I wanna pull everything out of storage, look at it, figure out what it is that I wanna do in the house and decide if I wanna do any further shopping. Things that I'm about to show you, either we needed like a new tree or I just couldn't pass up because I'm week okay I had moments of weakness so I'm gonna start out with Target naturally I picked up a new mug I'm actually surprised that I didn't pick up more than one they didn't have some of the mugs that I'd seen online I do definitely want some more mugs this one's super cute I think I'm gonna use this year-round it says it's beginning to look a lot like coffee and it's got little snowflakes all over it not a huge fan of the color combination of the snowflakes on the mug but it's a great size and I really like the handle and I just love that it says that it's beginning to look a lot like coffee I also grabbed a little to-go coffee mug from the dollar spot this was 
was three dollars it's just black with silver trees all over it i think it's really cute i love having this kind of um coffee mug when i'm driving also picked up a snow globe it's a little snowman family chris really loves snow globes so i foresee that we will be purchasing a few more um in the near future this is something that chris picked out that he's super stoked for it's this little red truck with christmas trees on the back and we also um, grabbed the trailer for it which also has Christmas trees in the back I'm really digging this um, red theme this year I'm not usually into red I usually do like a silver Christmas but I'm kind of digging this like old-school red truck with the trees I just think it's really adorable I think we're gonna incorporate these in the living room somewhere Chris also picked up a couple Christmas villages from Costco he has been wanting Christmas villages for years so I'm very happy for him that he finally is able to see that dream through I have a feeling he's not gonna stop there I think he's going to turn our entire living room into a Christmas village but you know what that's okay Okay, because every other year I have gotten things my way and I've done whatever I wanted with the living room So I'm giving him a little bit of control of the living room this year so he can live out his Christmas village Fantasies we went into Costco for vegetables and we ended up leaving with Christmas villages such as life I've really been enjoying this cherry bubbly probably the most flavorful one I've had so far It's especially good when I add my little black cherry sugar-free Mio drops in there. It's like cherry overload Chris also suggested that we get some new stockings this year Target had some cute ones previous years Chris and I had like silver bejeweled stockings and Louie had a little red one It didn't match ours. So this year we picked these up. They're just white with red lettering. They are adorable. So that's mine. This is Chris's. And this is Louie's. How adorable is that? Now we all match. I'm sure he's just gonna be thrilled about his new stocking. One of my best friends from high school recently had a baby boy and I saw this and I had to pick it up for him. I'm gonna see her in a couple days. It says, my first visit from Santa. It's a little bib. These next few items were absolutely necessary from the Target dollar spot. Novelty eyewear. We got a little Santa, Christmas trees, and a little elf. Just in case we have company and we wanna get crazy. I showed you our new coffee mug rack in the kitchen in my last vlog. I am very excited to decorate it. I picked up, I think these are gift toppers from the dollar spot and I'm going to use them um, as little ornaments to hang off some of the hooks. So we got this little globe, this adorable wooden door with garland on the front that says home for the holidays. How cute is this? A round one that says Merry Christmas, a little green one that says Santa's key with a little key hanging from it, and this little uh, Christmas tree with a little bell. I think those are gonna look super cute. I've also been looking for some flocked garland that I can hang around the coffee mug rack and I found the perfect garland at Joanne, which I'll show you in a little bit when I get to the Joanne stuff, but I cannot wait to turn my kitchen into a winter wonderland and to hang all of my Christmas mugs. It's just gonna be so cozy in here. We got some fabulous ugly Christmas sweaters from Target. I wouldn't even call them ugly. I think these are glorious and I'm gonna wear them long after Christmas. A couple of you tagged me in this one on Instagram. It's like you read my mind because I already had it saved. Mary and Dwight. This one is mine. I love it. Chris didn't want to be left out of the fun, so we picked one up for him as well. This one is just a Dunder Mifflin Paper Company sweater. It is so cute. It has little paper clips and thumbtacks along the bottom. I imagine that I'm probably gonna wear this one as well. Chris also grabbed this elf t-shirt. It says, ah, Oh my God! I know him! We love elf around here. I mean, who doesn't? Coincidentally, it's been playing in the background while we are decorating our Christmas tree two years in a row. I gotta consult with Chris. I don't know if that's planned or if it's just on TV or what. I grabbed this shirt from the men's section. It's not really uh, a Christmas t-shirt. It's an everyday t-shirt, okay? False. Would also appreciate if they came out with one that said, question. I would be all over that. You know, when you're out and about doing any form of Christmas shopping, whether it be for other people or for decor, somehow you're just more inclined to throw shit into your basket that's for you. Little gifts for yourself because tis the season, right? We basically did that this entire Target trip. Chris also picked himself up this 15 days of socks. This is a Harry Potter Quidditch edition. I'm kind of jealous. I also picked up a couple sweaters from Target. I absolutely love their fall and winter sweaters. I had been eyeing the one 
one that I'm wearing right now on Instagram for a while. We went to a couple different locations until I found the color that I wanted and the size that I wanted. It is so comfortable, so cozy. I love that the sleeves are just massive. Also picked up another one that's downstairs right now, so I'll put an image of it up on the screen, but I just love these. I love the zipper. I love keeping it open. I think it looks really cute. It's not too long. It doesn't cover your butt, but it just looks flattering around the waist, even though it's super puffy. Can't describe it. The other one is just as comfortable. It's a little bit softer than this one. So I think that's it for Target. Got a couple things from Ikea. These are just little baby trees for Chris's Christmas village. Has three packs of these and I'm in charge of painting them to make them look like they are covered in snow. So I don't know if I wanna get block material that comes in a can from Michaels to do this, or if I wanna paint the trees with white acrylic paint. Also picked up some tea lights because the ones that I have right now from Halloween are way too orange. And I saw these on display in Ikea and it looks like they're a lot more cool toned, which is gonna go with like the ambiance of the living room. We went to World Market. I absolutely love their furniture. I love their decor. I love their international food section. Unfortunately, Unfortunately, I was way too overwhelmed in there because I had not yet looked through all of the current Christmas decor that I own. So I didn't wanna, I don't know, overwhelm myself with the decor until I see what I have. But Chris did leave with a mug. It says, Merry Elfing Christmas, and it has a little angry elf on the front. This is a pretty big mug. It's gonna hold a lot of coffee. I'm very excited for him to use it. It's gonna look very cute on our mug rack. Went to Joanne. We got there pretty late, so I didn't have enough time to fully look through everything and make rational decisions. So rather than just throwing like random stuff in the cart, I'm gonna go back once I decide what it is that I want. But I did pick up some fake snow for Chris's uh, Christmas village. This was $4.99, what a steal. I'm just gonna cover the entire house in fake snow. I mentioned in my last vlog that I would like to replace uh, the little decorative boxes that are currently on my TV stand holding my TV up with a white crate. Well, I finally found the perfect crate. This was on sale as well. I got it for $9.99. I'm going to paint it with my chalk paint. I'm going to flip it upside down and I'm going to rest my TV on it. I just love that look. I might put some fairy lights inside of it so you can see the fairy lights through the little cracks. And I have uh, fairy lights with timers on them that I picked up from Costco that I think are gonna look really cute in here. Who knows, maybe I'll stuff it with some fake snow too. We're gonna go all out this year. Okay, this is the garland that I was talking about that I'm gonna hang around my coffee rack. I got two of these. Last but not least, I got a couple items from HomeSense, which is our home goods here in Canada. A little tree that was in my background is right here. He is so cute. He is flocked. He is beautiful. I love the galvanized metal bottom. It kind of goes with the flow of the home. Am I gonna keep this in my office? Probably. Is it gonna move around the house when I'm not filming? Most likely. I found this really early in my Christmas decor shopping journey. It's a wooden sign that says, Farm Fresh Christmas Trees. How cute is this? I love it. Complimentary cider and hot cocoa. I want to start decorating like yesterday. We also got a new Christmas tree. I will insert an image of it up on the screen. We got it from Walmart. We have been eyeing this tree for several years now. It is flocked, it is beautiful. My only worry is that I gotta find something to put the base of the tree in so that Louie can't reach the bottom branches of the tree so he doesn't chew on them. I don't think he will. Chris disagrees. He has accused Louie of chewing through Christmas lights previous years, like the Christmas lights inside the tree. Chris swears that Louie is guilty of this. I haven't asked Louie for comment on this yet. I assume that he would not like to be accused of such acts, but I'll keep you guys posted on how he feels about it. So that is my haul. I'm hungry. I'm gonna go eat something. Two days later. Every time the snow
last year's vlog to get an idea of just how many Christmas decorations I have because I completely forgot about some of the pieces and then I felt more compelled to go back to Michael's and HomeSense and pick up a couple more things. I mostly picked up mugs, some stuff from Michael's for my Nightmare Before Christmas theme tree, just some black ornaments. They have like little splatters on them. I'd also like to find some crisp white ones. I found a variety of ribbon. I'm really excited for this black and white striped one. Very Nightmare Before Christmas. This white one, it's wired and it's a bit sheer. This black one is wired as well and it just kind of looked interesting to me. I also grabbed an assortment of glitters for my nail videos. These are very Christmas appropriate. Louis is very excited to be part of this haul. I think I'm most excited about the mugs that I was able to find at HomeSense. I hit the jackpot, I'm not gonna lie. We've got the National Lampoon's Christmas Vacation mug that says, don't hog the nog. A classic elf mug that says, you sit on a throne of lies. One of my favorite lines from the movie, which I actually use on a regular basis. I also like that the mug is green on the inside. Very cute. Just a pretty black and white mug with Christmas trees on it and some deer. I really like mugs with this rim. Just reminds me of hot cocoa on a cold day. Maybe at a cabin. And last, but certainly not least, Chris and I found this mug at the same time on the other side of the mug rack. Like I was on one side, he was on the other, and there were duplicates of this, and we we're both like, hey, look at this. We said that we're gonna share this, but little secret, this is my mug. I mean, tell me this is not the cutest freaking mug you've ever seen. I know I say this every time, but this this is just like next level cute. It has that perfect rim that I like. It has snowflakes on it. It's large and in charge. It's gonna hold a lot of coffee or hot cocoa, and I just absolutely love it. I also found this cute gold metal trivet for my hot pans. It has little rubber feet on the bottom. They also had one in block letters that just said ho ho ho, but I like this one. I like the handwriting. I don't have anything that says fa la 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 la. Chris found these, um, these drinking glasses that he had to have. Most likely going to drink eggnog and other adult beverages out of these. And that concludes my little haul here. I didn't get too many things, but I thought I'd share them anyway. I'm doing laundry in the background, so hopefully it's not too loud, but I forgot to show you my slippers that I got from Costco. I got a two pack, these ones, which are very festive. And I also have a pair of gray ones with little sparkles on them. They have those little grippy rubber things on the bottom because our floors are so slippery. I pretty much eat shit every time I run upstairs. <laughs> Who's excited for decorating? Look at his little feet. Ready to party. <laughs> Cheers. The tree looks fantastic. The issue is, normally, we place the tree in this open area here, but this year, we picked up a new flocked tree. Although it's beautiful and flocked and the bottom is flocked like you would want it to be, Louis can get at the bottom branches and chew on them. He is a cage-free rabbit, so he's free roaming all day long. The last thing I want is for him to eat the flock. I'm thinking of moving the tree in this corner here, issue with that is there's no room for the dinner table. So what I'm trying to do right now is mess around with the branches and lift them upwards a little bit so that um, Louis can't reach the bottom level. So Chris went to the dollar store and he picked up some of these skewers. I stuck the skewers under each branch and it actually is working out really well. So now I'm gonna test it out on the bottom level. I've just done it to one of them and it has significantly lifted it. Even if Louis stands up on his hind legs, he's not gonna be able to reach it. This is all the shit I vacuumed up from underneath the tree and the living area. I gotta vacuum my pants. Um, because I tried using a roller, it's not really working out. I'm gonna call it now. I think decorating our place is gonna be like a three to four day affair at this rate. Because I, I didn't think I'd have this much difficulty with this tree. Gorgeous though, not complaining, it's beautiful, but I gotta make sure that my son is safe and that he doesn't get into it. Because he is a spoiled little boy and we can't coop him up in his cage, so. I have to just make sure everything is safe and if I have to rearrange the house to do that, then so be it. Here is where we're at. I was actually able to get quite a bit of lift so I'm optimistic. It might actually work out. I'm just gonna vacuum my mess now. One thing that sucks about getting a brand new flocked Christmas tree is the dust from the flock material when you first pull it apart. Holy shit, it's all in my hair too.
Honestly, the more that I see the tree in that corner, the more I like it. My only problem is this dinner table in the middle of the way, you know? It's blocking the tree. There's not gonna be a lot of room for us to walk around it. We'll see what Chris thinks. He left for work and now I'm gonna hang out with Louie. I'm gonna edit this vlog. I'm going to um, tidy up the rest of the house and I guess I'll keep you posted on what we decide to do. Louie is <laughs> just in a great mood. It's super cozy in here and he is just, if you guys watched last year's decor vlog, he absolutely loves Christmas decorating. He loves it when there's a lot of action in the living room. He likes being a part of it. He's been very affectionate towards me tonight. Like he lay in my lap for a while while I was eating a salad and just let me pet him and kiss him, which is very unlike him. I think he was sucking up for a treat. Anyway, we will see you tomorrow. See you tomorrow. I'm in the middle of editing this vlog and I'm realizing that I'm gonna have to split it up into two parts and end this one here. I hope that you guys enjoyed this one. If you did, please give it a thumbs up. Stay tuned for part two where I'm gonna show you exactly what I ended up doing with our Christmas tree, how we decorated our place. Maybe I'll do some cooking. Maybe I'll buy some more stuff, who knows, probably. For now, thank you guys very much for watching. Thank you for subscribing and staying subscribed and I'll see you in my next one. Okay, love you, bye.